Hello, I'm going to teach you maximum likelihood estimation in less than 10 minutes. And remember, I'm Kainton the Tech Pro, providing you free lessons on artificial intelligence and machine learning. So let's get started. Right, um, first we are going to review least squares estimation. Remember, least squares estimation, LSE, and maximum likelihood estimation are both regression algorithms. So least square estimation is a linear regression algorithm that minimizes the least square errors between the estimated values and the actual values. So let's assume in this in this uh, figure you have data points as you can see in blue they are data points and you need to fit a straight line through. Now we fit this red straight line and it's not actually touching any of the data points. It means that between the actual points and the, 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 the point where your line passes through, there is an error. So I label these errors E1, E2, E3. Maybe I just have to annotate this. So have this distance is E2, E3, and so on and so forth until you have E10. So it means that you have to take the square of E1, E1 squared plus E2 squared plus E3 squared plus E4 squared plus E5 squared plus E6 squared up to E10 squared and then you get the total of everything and then make sure that this total is minimum. You are taking the squares because you need to get rid of the negative values because it's the values that of E is pointing downwards are negative. So how do you vary to be able to make these errors to be minimal is by varying the parameters of this equation. For it to be minimal, it means that you have to vary the slope and the equation of the slope of the graph is y is equal to mx plus b. So you vary the, the, the B values, which is the intercept on the Y axis and also the slope. Continuous variation until you get the least squares values. So this is the basic principle of the least squares estimation in linear regression. Let's now go to maximum likelihood estimation. Now maximum likelihood estimation tends to estimate parameters of a model when you have a number of observations. So what it does is it finds a parameter values that maximize the likelihood of making the observations given the parameters. What does this mean? So let's assume you get to the jungle and you are trying to take the height of penguins. Now there are hundreds of thousands of, of penguins and now you want to estimate the height of all of them. It's not possible to do. So you have to just catch, let's say about 10 penguins and you have to calculate, measure the height of this thing. Now you are going to use it to estimate the maximum likelihood of the, the, the parameters of the sample or the population. What are the parameters? For instance, we have the mean, we have the variance, we have the standard deviation and many other parameters. You need to estimate these for the population, but you have just time. So how do you go about it? What you do is that for maximum likelihood estimation, you select set of values of the parameters that maximize the likelihood function. Okay, so what the hell is maximum likelihood uh, function or the likelihood function? Now let's assume a parameter called R. Remember, called lambda. Remember, we need to vary the parameters to make this function to be maximum. Now, the maximum the likelihood function says that the probability of the this parameter lambda giving the measurement okay equals the probability of individual parameters so just take note that this is a max the likelihood function and it needs to be minimal now i'm not going to write out the equation exactly as it is but take note that this is a likelihood uh, function. Likelihood is related to probability. Now, how do we make this function to be maximum? Because we are trying to do maximum likelihood. 
it means that we are going to make this function to become maximum. If function is maximum when the derivative, der derivative of that function is zero. So for us to make this function to be maximum, step one, take the der derivative of the function. Step two, set the derivative to be equal to zero and then you solve for lambda. So solution to the maximum likelihood uh, estimate, the solution to this is the maximum likelihood estimate for lambda. I think this makes sense, so if it doesn't, try to review the video and then see if you can get it a little more clearer. So this is where we stop. In my next video, I will go a bit into details on the calculation and derivations involved. For now, I will want you to subscribe for more videos on artificial intelligence and machine learning. So click on the subscribe button. Remember, I'm Kainton the Tech Pro, bringing you free lessons on artificial intelligence and machine learning.